2020 is right around the corner, which is so exciting in the planner community because this means we're diving into some new planners. Now, I know some of you guys have already redated some of your new planners and you started using them. I personally always wait until the first of the year, so I'm really, really excited to dive into these new, new planner layouts, new styles, new dividers, new stickers, all kinds of new fun things are happening in the planner world, which is so exciting. So I'm beyond ready to start 2020. So what I wanted to do was show you guys what planners I'm gonna be using for 2020 and how I plan on using them. And y'all, I'm excited because Ashley's going back to a mini for 2020. Well, mostly mini for 2020. So I'm really, really excited about that. And the first one I'm gonna show you is this, and I believe this is called the Boss Babe. Um, mini dashboard layout planner. Now this one will be specific for nursing school and as my catch-all. So anything related to school goes in here and then also if I have scheduling things for myself, my son, my husband, whatever, family events, that kind of thing is all inside of one planner. And I like doing it that way, especially in this hectic season because I can see everything on one spread and I don't risk missing something, forgetting about something, which has happened plenty of times before. Um, so I'm really 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 excited about this mini one so like I said it is a dashboard layout so the cover has got this little um, geometrical pattern on here that's in rose gold the discs are plastic gold discs on it the inside cover is black and white stripe so the first thing we have is our little welcome insert and then it goes into the title page we've got 2020 2021 at a glance and these are year at a glance so you can plan ahead. Honestly, for me, I'll probably be taking these pages out because I never use them. So those will probably come out of there. Then we come into January. It's got this super cute rose gold. Maybe that's more of just a gold. I can't, I honestly can't tell. Maybe it's more gold. But um, that gold foiling is sprinkled throughout this entire planner and it's super cute. But we open this up and I like the monthly in this because it's kind of plain. Which, to be honest with you, I love a good plain planner because I feel like I can customize it a little bit more. When there's a lot of colors and things happening, I feel like I need to, to color coordinate to that. So I like whenever a planner is pretty darn basic. The only thing I don't like about this is the pink in the dashboard layout. But that's okay because most of this will probably get covered up anyways, honestly, whenever I'm decorating. For example, this big Aaron's block. And if you guys didn't know, the big Happy Planner stickers will cover this up perfectly. So if you guys have some big memory keeping stickers or big teacher stickers or anything like that, it'll cover this up perfectly. So most of that will get covered up anyways, but I am super excited to get back into this dashboard layout. So we'll go ahead and quickly flip through this planner and I'll show you guys the dividers. February says make yourself proud. March says boss babe. April says coffee, coffee, and more coffee. Yes, please. May says make things happen. June is the same little pattern that's on the cover. July says coffee and then the world. Amen to that. August says set goals and crush them. September, this is probably my favorite one. It says be the kind of woman that makes other women want to up their game. I love that. October says good things come to those who hustle. November says never ever give up. And then December is the stripes, which is the same as the inside cover. And we flip this over and it's just got the note sheets and then the cover on the back. So that'll be my planner for nursing school starting in 2020. Now I'm actually going to do a little bit of a Franken planning between this one and the Homebody dashboard layout mini planner. I really like the weekly pages inside of the Homebody, so I thought that I would get both of them and then I can, if one week I want to use these um, weekly inserts, I can use them the next week. If I want to use the ones from the Boss Babe, I can and I can alternate back and forth. So I'm really excited about this one. Now the dashboard layout on this one has a little bit of a different setup. So we'll flip through and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Now this one does come with metal discs because it is a Happy Planner Girl, the Homebody Girl. Again, we have our welcome page. We have the title page, years at a glance future year planning here and then we go into January now I'm not a fan of the monthlies on this one so I will definitely be using the monthlies from the boss babe just because there's there's a lot more color inside of the homebody monthly pages I absolutely love this dashboard layout because it does have a lot less color so I will probably gravitate more towards this layout and I'll just Franken plan it in with the boss babe which when I do that when I do my planner setup I will be making a video so you guys will get to see that process but I really like how it's just kind of plain Jane plus this giant to-do list here on the left. I love that. That's going to be fantastic for school. And then I also really like the black because black matches everything. It's my favorite color. It's classic. I really like the black stripes up top here. 
because I can really do some cute things with those. So let's go ahead and we'll flip through the dividers and show you guys what this thing looks like. February is this cute little floral heart. March says, enthusiasm is the root of all good things. Enjoy what is and plant some joy seeds. I love that, that's cute. And it's got some gold foil in there as well. April is this little floral pattern. It says, thankful, grateful, beautiful, wonderful. May says, home should be an anchor, a port in a storm, a refugee, a place in which, we dwell, in which to dwell, a place where we are loved and where we can love. June is just this cute little floral pattern. July says, you can, it's in gold foil. August says, there's nothing like staying at home for real comfort. I do believe in that. I'd rather stay home for comfort. September is this cute little pattern, which I really do like. It says, don't be perfect, just be yourself. Love that too. October says, wake up and be excited about life. November says, give, grow, gather. And then December is just some more florals. You flip it to the back, you've got your note sheets, and then again with the cover. So like I said, I will be frank complaining the home body one with the Boss Babe to kind of customize it a little bit more because there's certain aspects of both that I like. So we'll just combine them into one. That's the easiest thing to do, right? Next up, I got this really cute Stargazer Happy Notes. I got this because I really wanted to start creating custom spreads for fitness that really worked for me. But I also want to kind of get a um, fitness planner just so I have a layout already done for weeks that are maybe a little bit busy or hectic or I didn't have time to sit down and actually create one. So I'm, I'm probably gonna go ahead and pick up the fitness planner and I'll add it to this stack. If I do, um, we'll do a flip through of it and I'll show it to you guys. Maybe I'll do that over on my Instagram um, instead of having a whole video about it. But uh, yeah, that's probably the only planner I'll add to it. But I got this one because I really love the inside. It's just dot grid, but I really like this blue color on the border. I think that's super cute. My plan is just to kind of create a spread that helps me track my workouts and meals and water and that kind of thing. So that's what this will be for. It'll be in the back of my catch-all planner. And something else I got this for, I love these dividers in here. They're super cute and you can just pop these into the back of your planner and have this. Like I'll probably use this one because this is my favorite out of here and I'll put this in the back of the planner. And then I can just stick different inserts and things back there and it'll all be in one place. So I think for my cover starting out in 2020, I'm gonna use this super cute little mermaid cover. Now I found this planner at Walmart. It was on sale for like seven bucks. It's actually not a planner, it's Happy Notes. Um, it didn't even have the front cover on it. This is what it looked like. Uh, so I don't know if someone returned it or what, but I love it, it looks super great. This, this cover is life to me. I love anything nautical, beach vibes, all the things. So I absolutely love this mermaid cover. So I'll definitely be starting the year with this one. Now again, this is just a Happy Notes, and I got this one because border on the inside is not as colorful. It's this really light pink color, and so I thought on weeks, whenever I was doing stickers and things like that that didn't match that blue inside of the Stargazer planner, I could use this one for um, inserts for uh, meal planning, fitness planning, that kind of thing, just to keep track of everything. And then I also really, really like the dividers inside of here as well. Now the cool thing about this is it come with a couple of sticker sheets here in the back. It had this divider in there, which I love this divider because it's clear, you can see through it, and I can pop this in there and be able to see the entire week without having a divider covering it. So I really, really like that. And it also come with this really cute folder that just says hello, which I will probably be using. Um, love that folder. So those are my minis. Now, like I said, I didn't go fully mini for 2020. I did get a classic planner, and I actually got the uh, Boss Babe dashboard layout classic size planner. Now this one will not be going with me. This one will be staying at home. Um, it looks the same as the mini, so I'm not gonna flip through it, but I will show you the inside the weekly pages really quickly. It looks the same, obviously it's classic, so everything's bigger. Now this one I will be using for coaching. I am a Beachbody coach and I have a group of awesome women on my team and we're all working towards our health and fitness goals and stuff. So I really wanna be able to dive in give them my 100%, be the best coach I can be, and help them actually accomplish their goals. And that's what this planner is for. It's so I can track everything. We've got weekly team calls, all kinds of different things. So I thought, I need a planner for this. So that's what I got this one for. Again, this one's not gonna go with me. It's gonna stay at the house. It looks the exact same as that Boss Babe Mini, so I'm not gonna flip through it. But I do love this thing, and I'm really excited that I do have a classic because if I start the year out in a mini and I realize, okay, maybe this is too small and I need a bigger planner, I already have one and I don't have to stress about going to get one. And again, the dashboard layout, I'm probably gonna stick with it, at least for my final semester in nursing school because it's just so functional that it works so great in it. So I absolutely love that part of it. 
So that's my planner lineup for 2020. I'm honestly really excited to dive into these planners. I'm ready to get back into that dashboard layout because it is awesome. Absolutely love it. I love these covers, love everything about these planners, so I'm really excited to dive into those. Last but certainly not least, make sure you're watching for my setup video, which will be coming here soon. And if you like my planner videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you can get a notification, and I'll see you guys in the next video.